Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another very late night pouring episode. It was so hot here today. Honestly, this is kind of the only time that HO and I can get in here when you're not like dying of heat. So welcome to late night pouring. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun with those yeet pours. The one we did, Tranquility, was just, it was so pretty to me and I really, really enjoyed it. And on Sunday we had our premiere train and my friend Nate, who is teaching this really cool radial groove pour with this nifty little contraption at PourCon, did this beautiful piece and his base coat color was this fire opal color that was amazing. It was so pretty and it got me thinking and I was like, wait, I think I have a bottle of that. So I have found it. So this is Folk Arts Treasure Gold in fire opal. Um, it's a really beautiful color. Really, really pretty stuff. I'll show you. That's what this is painted already. And this is the base coat color. You see that each way? Mm -hmm. So pretty. And this is all mixed with my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss Pouring Medium and American Floetrol. I don't think there's any water in this one tonight. But this is our base coat color, is that fire opal, and it's so pretty. I have actually painted the sides and edges and the top of the canvas just because I want to make sure that it's not sheer, that it's not, you know, transparent at all. So that's an 18 by 24. Um, then the next colors we're using, this one is some Amsterdam Titanium White. And it may or may not have a bit of satin enamels in it. This was leftovers from two or three different cups of white that I have mixed together. So I'm not entirely positive if there is satin enamels in there or not, but it's not gonna make a difference, it'll be fine. This one is also a custom purple that I did. I don't remember which one it was. It does kind of look like Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, so that might be it, but I'm not entirely positive because it's been a while. I have a lot of leftovers sitting around, it's kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> I have some Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And I have some Amsterdam Bronze. So, um, a few observations. The turquoise one that we did, Tranquilité, I had talked about at the end in the outro for the dried results, how I wasn't crazy about the fact that there was kind of a halo effect around the edges and that was because my friend Sarah and I were talking and she's like well hello the turquoise is transparent so to that end I have painted the sides and even the top I'm still going to put a base coat down but this is to make sure that we have some opacity there and that the edges are not transparent because that kind of drives me nuts so that's number one <laughs> um, another thing that I learned from that pour and one that I've done subsequently that I think you guys are going to see soon is that I didn't want to fill up the cups this that much this time. The first time I did it, I probably had the five ounce cup halfway full, and I yeeted it, and it pretty it did pretty good in tranquility. The one I did after that, I filled the cup up all the way to the top, and I felt like there's too much paint on the canvas. So tonight, what I want to do, <laughs> the other thing I showed you is those little unicorn horn swirly bits, and I think I may have figured out how to make that happen with less paint in the cup. So tonight, instead of filling the cups up all the way, I'm going the opposite direction and I'm probably only gonna put about two ounces of paint in each of these and yeet those, <laughs> seeing if we can make those little spirals happen because I love those little unicorn horn spirals. I think they're just adorable. And we're gonna do them one at a time. I'm not gonna fill up a whole bunch at once. I'm kinda of gonna do one and see how it looks and see what I like and then add and change and go with the flow. So. Go with the yeet. <laughs> yeah, yeet with the flow, that's it. Um, for the first one, let's start with some of the white. And I'm not putting a lot in here. I'm literally probably only gonna put a total of about two ounces of paint in this cup, if that much. And I am gonna put some of the gold. And then just a little bit of the purple. And I think I'm gonna skip the bronze on the first one. I'm going to put a little bit more white on top of that. So there's very little paint in there. I don't know if you can see through the cup, but that's probably about an ounce and a half, two ounces of paint. I probably should have put my base coat down first. Let's do that now. Okay. And we're just going to tilt this out. So for an 18 by 24, I usually need about 15 or 16 ounces of paint. So we're definitely not going to be using a lot in the cups at all. Okay. 
Now, I'm not going to tilt this after I do the yeast, so I want to make sure that there's not too much paint on here. So we're just going to stay tilted like this for a second and get that little lip off. And again, because I'm not going to tilt this, I want to make sure there's not too much paint on the canvas. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, let's move that over. So let's take our first little yeet cup. <laughs> See, the nice thing about the vertical, though, is that I get to throw it farther and have more of a positive. Sorry. Right. Can do that. No, it's okay. Okay. So you're gonna like, you know, like whip your wrist or something to try to get the. Prepared to be amazed. <laughs> okay, so very, very little paint in here. And I'm actually going to pinch it a little bit to kind of make like a spout and see if that makes any difference. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a different cup. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to layer it a little differently this time. This time I'm going to put a little bit of bronze in there. And a little bit of white. And a little bit of gold. I'm going to skip the purple on this one. And a little more white. Okay. I'm going to pinch the cup again. You ready, Tom? I'm going to go kind of that way this time. Yeaters got to eat. Here we go. That's interesting. That's really pretty, actually, with those, like, swirls of gold in there. But I like it with the purple, too. Okay, I'm going to use the same cup. I'm going to put a little white in. And a little bit of purple. I think I do like the vertical presentation better, but that's okay. Can you turn it now? No. We are already committed. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get a clean cup. I think this is working much better with the smaller amounts of paint. Let's uh, do a little different. I'm going to start with a little bit of gold this time. And a little purple. And some more white. And let's put some bronze in there too. So still, this is probably less than two ounces of paint in here altogether. All right. Are you ready, darling? Yes, mother. Okay. I do notice a lot of these cells popping up from it being thrown and landing. Quickly, I like that curve though. That's pretty. Let's do that again. I'm gonna start with a little bit of purple now. And put the gold on top. I have to suppress yelling, yeet, every time you do that. But you haven't been suppressing it. <laughs> you did, trust me. <laughs> I am suppressing it. Okay. We're going to try to do another one like that. Are you ready, honey? Yeet. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yep. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that swirl is really pretty, though. All right, well, this is turning out differently than I had hoped. I don't know if I'm crazy about it, to be completely honest with you. How much of the base cut do I have left? I don't think I like this present, this horizontal, very, very much. You know what I'm gonna do? It's only paint, babe. Mm-hmm. I'm actually gonna scrape it off. Ooh. I usually do that. Hmm? That you don't usually do that. No, I don't, but. It's okay. Yeah. Pour this on there. Pull this out real quick. 
I think we're gonna go back to our Try that again. I'm just gonna scrape this into my tub real quick so we don't have a bunch of paint sitting on the table. It's really pretty with the purple in there. <laughs> Try that again. I'm gonna go this way though this time. Let's get a clean cup. And we're gonna start over. So we're gonna start with some white. And then some gold. And then the purple. And a little more white. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? The eater's got to eat. <laughs> I think I like I, my love, better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my love. There we go. I lost that I am. Here we go. Ooh, that one's cool. Okay, mm. that's awesome. Now we're talking. All right, I'm gonna put some purple in. Looks like hang time is a factor. <laughs> hang time? <laughs> I can't stress enough to you guys how important it is for you to play and enjoy what you're doing and have fun because when you are having fun it shows in your work and if you're not having fun that shows too so paint when you're in a good mood when you're not in a good mood clean <laughs> all right darling are you ready yes my love. okay here we go Those are really pretty. I love all those colors coming through like that. Very cool. Okay. Let me get one more out of this, maybe. Okay. Get a clean cup. Let me do that again. Okay, I'm gonna start with some gold. Purple. Every time you say clean cups, I think of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party in Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah? Clean cups, clean cups, move down. They didn't like to. How many times have you seen that movie? <laughs> Dozens. <laughs> Probably your favorite song as a kid. Okay, we're going to try to go like this way now. Ready, honey? Yep. Yo. Oh. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Alright. Add some more purple. It's so funny, I almost didn't use the purple. And now I'm liking it the most. Happy accidents. Yeah. I'm gonna put one more layer of purple on there and see. Okay. Are you ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. That's kind of wild. Mm. You need more wrist action. We didn't get any spirals this time, which I really like. But that's okay. I kind of love what's happening here, though. Let's torch this real quick.
like one more bold one like these, but going this way. So I'm try just... to, when you fling it, try to turn your wrist over. Okay. So let's put some purple in And there. choose a little ying into your yang. Yin to your yang. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm Here we go. <laughs> other way. <laughs> I meant this way. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. That was pretty funny though. Okay, let's try that again. Hitting the canvas this time. I'm trying to go the opposite way. I meant this way. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but it doesn't always work that way. Okay. Do we need more? Nope. Are we good, you think? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I want one more. I want one, I want one <laughs> unicorn horn. I want one unicorn horn, and then I'll be happy. But I do like how this is looking. I think it's can really I, Can I coach? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Try to go this way. All right, we'll I have to go. Yes. With... Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Whew. <laughs> but it worked. It might have been off the canvas, but it worked. Look at that. See? <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> no more paint in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It did kind of work, yeah. But it kind of, that's like awesome. Look at that. It's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. Look at that. There we go. See? Now I'm good. Look at that. That's actually really cool. See, we got that spiral. And mm -hmm. here too. Okay, I'm good. Step away from the canvas. <laughs> and the table. And the table. The table is a work of art too. <laughs> <clears throat> the table, I don't know if you can see this. Look at this like perfect I unicorn did. horn right there. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna torch this. Oh my god, there's a bug. Go away, bug. I'm going to torch this one more time. That's really pretty. That last one on there, awesome. Okay. I really like this one. I think it's so pretty. Okay. Cool. Well, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Pretty yeet. <laughs> Pretty yeet. <laughs> okay. So I think all in all, we got really lucky with this in terms of being able to have enough base coat left to do it over again. And like I said, I think I prefer the vertical orientation just because you can throw the paint farther than with the horizontal one. I think this is really cool looking. I love the base coat color. I love that purple in there. I love, 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 love this little spiral and this spiral. That's really pretty. So this is cool. I'm happy with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you can share the videos, that's always appreciated. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I am getting super excited about Porcon. I leave in like 10 days. I'm like, I'm so thrilled to be able to come there and meet all you guys in person and see everybody. It's just going to be so much fun and uh, it's going to be great. So I'll be back with the dried results in just a minute. Tell me, Baxter. Right. <laughs> I like when he's smiling.
smacks you in the face with the tail. That's the best part. Woo woo. Oh, what is it? You got growlies? <laughs> He's not enjoying his booty scratches at all. <laughs> okay. So this is a couple days later. It, this one dried really fast. <laughs> it is so hot here. Um, so everything is drying really quick in the garage, which is very nice. I am kind of in love with this. This background color of that folk art treasure gold the fire opal is just gorgeous I don't know if you guys can see the bling and the shimmer on it from this angle but it's in the Sun <laughs> but it is so pretty and just really really cool I'm loving this piece and I love 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 what is happening with using the tiny amounts of paint in the cups because we're getting oh, these beautiful swirls and like ribbons throughout which are so pretty and then there's my favorite one right there that last one we did with the purple and this just gorgeous swirl with this perfect little unicorn spiral at the end and another one right there it's just so cool I love this I love this technique I'm having so much fun I really do hope you guys give this a try because it is really fun to do and you know a couple of friends and I have been talking about how it's actually really nice to do something that's really fun and brings you joy and uh, it's cool it's awesome to not get all caught up in all the technical details of everything but to just enjoy it and go with the flow and have a great time I love these colors on here that bronze and the gold and that purple so this came out awesome I'm very, very happy with this piece. I hope you guys like it too. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Give me a like. As always, if you can share the videos, it's greatly appreciated. But thanks so much for being here. We'll see you real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.